Hello and welcome you crazy people, my name is Jane and in this video I'm going to be asking the question what scale should the miniatures be for Warhammer the Old World? Now we don't have too much information about this game but for those of you who don't know it's basically set in the Warhammer Fantasy universe so you may remember the Warhammer Fantasy Battles which has subsequently become Age of Sigmar and you may remember maybe from Warmaster. It is your classic sort of fantasy, your Tolkien-esque fantasy with elves, dwarfs and that kind of stuff. It's set in that world and the question is what scale should the miniatures be? Because I've seen some people requesting it to be maybe like 10 to 15 millimeters and then you've got other people like myself who sort of want it to be a little bit bigger. Now we've only seen maybe like an, a drawing of a kiss left mounted burr I think it was but we've also seen just maps. We've not actually had many details revealed about the game in fact I think it was only announced it might only have been announced early this year or late last year. We've not had much information and the game is still very early in development but I do believe as of this moment we've got six factions announced which are kiss left, Bretonians, Empire, Orcs, High Elves and Wood Elves. I think that's everything. Probably safe to assume maybe Dwarfs might make an appearance and other factions like Norska or Chaos, that kind of thing. But for now, they're the ones that we've had officially confirmed. Now, I'm not a law expert myself, but going off the information that Games Workshop revealed yesterday, some people have pieced together that it seems that the old world is actually going to be set about 300 years before Warhammer Fantasy. Now, if you want to go check out the law, there's a lot of channels posting a lot more who know a lot more about it than I do, so I'm not going to begin the... But for me, the key question is, how does this game differentiate it between what has been before and what is current? And now in a couple of ways we can look at the, the three games that are basically relating to Warhammer Fantasy. Nowadays you have Age of Sigma, which is basically the universe gone on, it's like current times if you will. And then we also have the classic Warhammer Fantasy Battles. This game seems to be set a little bit before that, but Warhammer Fantasy Battles obviously was around for a while and quite popular and obviously has a, essentially the law that leads into Age of Sigma. This essentially seems to be the law that will lead into Warhammer Fantasy Battles. And there is the other game which is Warmaster, which I think was about, I'm not sure if the scale was between 10 and 12 millimeters, but it was a smaller miniature game and you had a lot more miniatures on the table. It was like a mass battle game. Now that's not to say Warhammer Fantasy wasn't a mass battle game, even though it was about 28 mil or heroic 28, whatever you want to call it. There was quite a lot of models on the table. That count has sort of slightly decreased in Age of Sigma, but from what I can tell, not by much, as I'm just getting into that game myself. And while the scale hasn't officially changed between Age of Sigma and Warhammer Fantasy Battles, of my own personal, when I look at models now, I think, oh, they're maybe getting a little bit bigger. I don't know how true that is. It's heroic, maybe they're just becoming more heroic. The question then is what scale should the old world be? For my money, I personally would not like to see a smaller scale game. I'm not really interested in miniatures that are like 10 to 12 millimeters. It's just not very epic or heroic for me. I don't really I don't really get involved in the story as much when the miniatures are so small. I quite like uh, the detail that you get on the bigger miniatures, something like 28 mil or 32 mil heroic, whatever you want to call it. Will Games Workshop go that way? But if they do that, will it be so similar to Age of Sigma that it's hard to differentiate between the two? Like if you've got an orc in Age of Sigma and you've got an orc in the old world, how different will they really look? Now I do have faith in Games Workshop to be able to pull that off, but if they're the exact same sort of scale, the exact same model size, I can understand people might want to use them in one and then the other and, and stuff like that. And I think we're going to get some really interesting things. Like if people are buying Warhammer the Old World to play in Warhammer Age of Sigma, is that something Games Workshop will be happy with? I'm not sure. But if they do go the route of it being a very similar scale to Age of Sigma, then I have no doubt that Games Workshop will be able to pull that off competently and actually be able to differentiate them. Especially with the fact that it's essentially 300 years before Warhammer Fantasy, they can maybe go a little bit more primitive or you know go a little bit more out of left field because it's more unique and maybe that's how it evolved into the Age of Sigma stuff. They don't have to be constrained by it necessarily so strictly. Now if they go smaller scale which is like what Warmaster was, personally like people do say that it's actually easier to paint because they're so small you don't have to pay like the little details. However I just for some reason I personally can't get involved in that and if the game is that scale great for those of people who those people who like that scale and want that scale but for me i'll be straight out the door i won't be interested in the game but you know if they go for anything bigger normal size like 28 mil and up i'll be pretty happy a bit of me sort of wants like 40 mil 50 mil and just go completely insane and have really detailed miniatures but considering it sounds like it's going to be a rank and file game 
the bigger your miniatures are the more problems you have if you're trying to like rank them up unless you go with insanely big bases so i sort of envision just a standard 28 mil scale and maybe not heroic maybe they'll just stick with 28 mil who knows now they do say that this game is actually like what horus heresy is to uh, warhammer 40k which i believe is done by forge world interesting that this isn't done by forge world it's actually going to be done by gw but i think the scale on that is pretty much the same do correct me if i'm wrong there so i mean this is an open-ended question like there is no right answer here it's obviously going to be subjective preference but for me i don't want smaller scale i want bigger scale what do i think games workshop will go with i think they'll probably go with 28 mil just your standard old school warhammer fantasy battles and i think they'll just try and sculpt the universe and create the law in a way that it's visually different from what we currently have but you know still sort of semi-recognizable an orc is still an orc no matter what you dress them as the next question would be when will we find out i have no idea i think we'll probably find out in 2021 what scale the miniatures will be i think we'll start seeing at least proper concepts and maybe even our first 3d digital sculpts in 2021 however i'm not expecting this game till uh, early as 2022 because that's sort of like what they were saying all along that it was going to be coming no time soon so i wouldn't be getting our hopes up i would like to find the scale out because for some people who the scale is going to be important to like myself then it's something i want to know now to whether or not i will be more interested in playing the game when it actually comes out because as i said if it's 10 millimeter scale i'm not going to bother so i would like to know that now before i get invested in the lore and i follow all the news in the game and stuff like that so please games workshop do tell me that so i know if i'm going to be like having to save up or not because i think either way my wallet's going to be in pain whatever happens whether it be warhammer the old world or probably continuing in age of sigma however that is the end of the video if you like this video do press like if you're interested in war gaming news and opinions and all that kind of stuff do hit the subscribe button it really does help have a most beautiful day goodbye